Generally speaking, the corn crop was saved or harvested by horse-drawn mowing machines. So what you needed there was you needed uh, two men to operate the machine and you needed as many voluntary workers as you could muster to bind or tie the sheaves. The fields, of course, were soaking wet everywhere. We went out and we, we gathered and bind, like they used to bind and stook. I think they were the three words. You gathered the, the sheaves or whatever they were and you bound them together and then at other stages you stooked them. I hadn't a clue, it had to be told and shown. But they were very basic tasks now that they gave most of us. Now there were some chaps there who uh, would be from perhaps an agricultural background and uh, they could do it better than most of us Jack Eames. We were all along on a line then, and as that was being cut, uh, we all had so many yards each, and we'd take out and we'd tie what we had cut, have them stooped up like you'd be looking for a high piece of ground where there wouldn't be a water. You'd feel the water squelching under your feet here and there along the field. So that was the way it went on that way all day long. Some of the corn was just absolutely flattened. And even if machinery would go into the field, the fields were soggy, a lot of them. So a lot of the corn had to be done by scythe. It had to be mowed by scythe. It was difficult even to use a scythe because you had to approach it from a certain direction because it was lying, and it was lying in all directions. They would have rotted, you know, and that would have done that. Everybody was very welcome, and while they knew we mightn't be practised or anything, many hands. <laughs> the, light, the work wasn't light, but the hands were many. Binding in particular, they found that very difficult. What the usual person did was to try it as you would tie a piece of twine. I would knot a twine on anything and re-knot it. Whereas we uh, were used to it, put the little strip of corn around it and twisted in under it and it's held. And did that in a few seconds, whereas he took probably five minutes. It wasn't the, it wasn't the matter, you see, it wasn't the, the thing that uh, was being done right. It was being done. And they could do it as well as anybody else could do it, you know. So they hadn't to be gifted or anything else, but they were good. And they did their best and, and they did save it all. There's no doubt about that. I know that you had to adopt yourself to the way to, that uh, they were doing it and make use of the way they were doing it. That was just the problem that you'd have and that was easy to do because they were willing to do anything you wanted them to do. They were marvellous workers. A few of them weren't as good, of course, but uh, they, were, they did their best. <laughs> they turned the head to the ground. <laughs> But we couldn't say nothing, like, it wouldn't be fair, they were so good, you know. We'd have to go back and turn them back up. <laughs> and then there was little sheaves made, what they call the sheaves? The, the volunteer sheaves. The they were little tiny ones. And uh, they did their best, like, now, they did their very best. <laughs> but we'd go back in the evenings and we'd put five or six of them together to make a sheaf, you know, again, so. I hadn't a clue, they weren't any good. But I'll tell you one thing they did. They added a certain amount of gaiety, they, they, they instilled enthusiasm into those farmers. They instilled enthusiasm. Jingles, we'll have to save this. <laughs>